Happy Thursday, Rutgers. I'm Eva Anika Ekelar. And I'm Adia Dauti. We've got an exciting show lined up for you. It is Thursday, March 1st, 2018. Ashley Cornish will give you the regional and big picture forecast for the day. CC Crane will paint the town scarlet at the Oresti Research Symposium. Larry Jacobs from Career Services will stop by. We've got tons to get to. Let's wake up, Rutgers. Welcome, Rutgers. It's great to be here on this beautiful Thursday morning. We're here to wake you up every Thursday morning this semester with all the exciting news, events, and weather. So, Adia, how's your week been? Well, this past weekend, me and my sorority we went out camping in Pennsylvania, so that was a lot of fun, but it was raining the whole time, and it was, like, really muddy, so I ruined all of my shoes that I brought with me, all my sneakers, rain boots. It's just all covered in mud, so I got to deal with that. <laughs> I know my favorite thing to do when I go camping is making s'mores. Did you do that? Oh, for sure we did that. Like, how can you go camping without making s'mores? Honestly. We actually had to, like, go out in the woods and, like, <laughs> find a perfect stick for that. So that was a lot of fun, like, stick hunting for the s'mores. <laughs> what, we, what have you been up to? Um, I'm really just working a lot at my internship. I work for the Rutgers University Foundation and Alumni Association as a social media and marketing intern, which is actually a mouthful to say all at once. I've never <laughs> said it all at once. And so I just um, monitor the content calendars and monitor posts and put, put up posts and um, pitch ideas that we can do for alumni so they can still feel the scarlet forever. That's awesome. How did mm -hmm. you find out about that internship? I actually found it on Career Services. Um, I started working there last summer, and then I just came back again this semester. And Career Services is actually a really great resource for me. It's helped me get a lot of things um, that I've had as work experience. Right. I am familiar a little bit with the Career Services website because when I was at Rutgers New York, I took a business form mm -hmm. class, so we had to like use like Career Night and stuff. So I'm a little familiar with the you know, programs, but actually haven't like visited Career yeah. Services. Ashley, have you ever visited Career Services? Yeah, guys, so I've never actually visited Career Services, but I think it's a great resource that we have as Rutgers students. I personally don't really know exactly what I want to do in the future, either go into broadcast meteorology like this, or maybe like a climate change research. So I feel like definitely Career Services would help point me in the right direction and figure out what I what exactly I want to do with my life. So I'll be sure to stop by, and after what uh, Larry Jacob says later, maybe I'll be even more um, inclined to go, and maybe I'll even stop by next week before spring break. All right, back to you guys. Yeah, Ashley brought up a good point. Later on in the show, Larry Jacobs is coming in to talk to us all about career services, give us all the tips, um, how to look for internships, try to um, get jobs, resume help. He's going to talk about all of that. So I think it's a really good thing to stay for. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, I can't wait to hear, like, you know, all the events and stuff. And we should definitely check out career services because, mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm a sophomore, Ash is a sophomore. We, like, got to get going on that stuff. But there's also so many other things Rutgers has going on, too, like the Arrested Research Symposium, which we're going to check out later on with CeCe Crane. Yeah, but before we can get to the rest of the show, let's see how much you know. When can you register for an SAS mini course? We'll find out the answer right after this break. Do you like kicking back in your free time? Sometimes the dorms can get stuffy and boring. So head on over to the Rutgers Zone. Need somewhere to watch sports? Need to satisfy that ice cream craving? Or are you tired of your old video games? Rutgers Zone is where you need to visit. Enjoy some games, food, TV, karaoke, and so much more. And don't forget to ask for those ice cream toppings. With all of the cool things at the Rutgers Zone, why would you even leave? 
If you are on Livingston campus, make sure you swing by the Rucker Zone, just a bus stop away. For more information, please visit zone.ruckers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. Before the break, we asked, when can you register for an SAS mini course? Now it's time to find out the answer. They are open now. You better hurry because spaces fill up fast and most courses start the week of March 5th. I can't believe we're already in March. It's March 1st. The courses start around March 5th. I know. We're finally getting into that warmer weather. Last week was such a tease, actually, I for know, this summer. I know, summer, that yeah. summer sneak peek. <laughs> Ashley, can you give us the weather forecast for um, the rest of the week or today? All right, hey guys, yeah, so I can give you the um, weather for the rest of the week, but unfortunately, it is not gonna be the summer-like weather that we've been experiencing for the past couple days, so let's get right into it, I'll tell you about it. So we've actually got rainy skies tomorrow and maybe even a chance of snow, according to a couple different models, I'll tell you about that later. And unfortunately, with that heavy rain and possibly snow, we've got a low pressure system moving into the area, a really strong low pressure system at that, so that'll be bringing us really high winds over the next couple days, but fortunately, the sun will be coming back on Sunday. For today's almanac, we had a morning low of 36 degrees, which is right in between our average of a 26-degree uh, low and then an average high of 46 degrees. Unfortunately, not as warm as our record of 72 degrees set back in 1976, and our sunrise and sunset are here at the bottom of your screen. Oh no, my computer crashed. All right, I'll, I'll, back to you guys. We'll get to a break. <laughs> All right, so even though it's kind of rainy and it's going to be like mm -hmm. snowing and stuff, a great way to stay still to stay busy during the rainy weather is through academic research. Let's go check out CC Crane at the Arresti Research Symposium. Hello Rutgers, I'm Cece Crane and today I'm in the Livingston Student Center at the annual Arresti Research Symposium. The symposium highlights undergraduate academic research and scholarship across all academic disciplines throughout the year. Let's go check it out. My project was determining the role of the Gasterman gene family in hearing loss. Uh, and why I wanted to do it is because a lot of people don't know about hearing loss and it was something that I didn't really look into and I started going into my classes learning about hearing and I saw this project and I discovered that I kind of wanted to do something that I hadn't really thought about before. So my project is working actually on the phytochemical compounds and their effect on cancer prevention. Um, and it's definitely a project I wanted to do because I actually used to be an EMT back in high school. Um, so medicine is kind of something that I've always had a passion for. So why was it important to you to get to showcase your project at the symposium here today? I think because I've worked on it all year and I'm really passionate about the work that I do um, through the Center of Cognitive Science and I want to showcase that to the rest of the university because there's so much research that goes on here. We just want to get our information and just really get the awareness of the diversity of records. Because even though we know it's an international school, and we thought like by using a RESTI we could really get it out there. I think it's really interesting how we can apply what we learn in class into research. And I think it's a good way to make sure everyone's aware of how important research actually is. Well, Rutgers, I hope you enjoyed exploring some of these innovative new projects as much as I did. Until next time, keep painting the town scarlet. I'm CC Crane, RUTV. Welcome back, Rutgers. We have a lot of things going on on campus, so let's check out some interesting news and events right now. Substance abuse and the cycle of crime are important issues that need to be dealt with, and Rutgers is doing what it can to help. Rutgers University Behavioral Health Care, UBHC, now gives correction officers working in New Jersey prisons an introduction to substance use disorders 
and Behaviors Training Program. Though the officers do not directly treat inmates for alcohol and drug addiction, they spend a lot of time with them, which impacts inmates' recovery. Stephanie Marcello, UBHC Program Director, explained that in the program, officers learn how stigma and discrimination impact behavior, which will help them better engage with and respond to inmates who have these disorders. The officers also learn self-care and stress management. The program is currently educating nearly 900 correction officers and management staff who work in New Jersey correctional facilities. So it's awesome that Rutgers has these, you know, resources for correction officers to help inmates. Yeah, and it's just a great, uh, uh, it's just a great thing that Rutgers is doing so that they can better help the people who are in these situations and suffering from these disorders and give them the care that they actually need. And Rutgers is not only passionate about helping people outside of the university, but also the students in the university. Textbooks are so expensive today, but Rutgers can help ease the heavy financial load. Rutgers president Robert Barchi launched a program in 2016 that has saved more than 11,000 students $2.1 million on their textbooks. Many students spend up to $1,500 a year on books or choose not to buy any due to the expensive cost. The open and affordable textbook program attempts to make textbooks more affordable so students can have access to all their course materials regardless of their financial situation. Faculty members and staff are finding new ways to include existing open source textbooks and peer-reviewed materials at the campus libraries and their syllabi. The Open and Affordable Textbook Program hopes to switch high-cost textbooks to low-cost or no-cost materials university-wide. To find out more about this program, contact Jessica Palian at jessica.palian at rutgers.edu. So this is a really great opportunity that the university is giving students who might be in a financial bind. We both know as students how textbooks can cost up to like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Right, yeah. yeah. You know, textbook prices are crazy. So it's mm -hmm. awesome that Rutgers has this like program, you know, to make textbooks more accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. Right. And like speaking of students saving money, looking for an economic way to freshen up your wardrobe, then come to the Rutgers Review pop up thrift store where you can look through a wide variety of goods, clothing, books, and more. Even if you don't feel like buying anything, you should still stop by to see the on-the-go, on-the-spot poetry and art. The event will be held next Wednesday, March 7th, from 10.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Livingston Student Center. For more information, search the Rutgers Review on Facebook. So this is awesome. I've never mm -hmm. actually, you know, seen any events of this kind at Rutgers, so it's awesome. I think I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, in my three years here, I've never had, like, a pop-up event um, that has thrifting or, um, poetry like just for students to come check out it's never been something I've ever experienced but if you're looking for a longer literary event hear from a writer on the rise when Natalie Diaz comes to speak at the Writers at Rutgers series Diaz is a poet known for her book when my brother was an Aztec the event will be held Wednesday March 7th at 8 p.m. in the Rutgers Student Center in the multi-purpose room for more information go to english.rutgers.edu and look under events so this is another exciting event going on at Rutgers. Um, you can go and learn about this author and see like what she her book. Yes, and it's awesome. Yeah, see what she has to offer. Right. It looks like Rutgers is hosting some fun events that mm -hmm. everyone should try to you know check out. But for right now, we'll see you guys right after this break. As a commuter, it's hard to make connections outside of class. Tell me about it. Did you know that there's a place for commuters to meet up between classes? Hmm, no I didn't. That's right. The Rutgers Commuter Student Organization's primary goal is to serve commuter needs and interests while building a bigger commuter community on campus. Located in the Bush Student Center, the RCSA Commuter Lounge has many appliances that help make commuter lives easier, such as a microwave, a refrigerator, computers, and even a TV. The RCSA also holds events. It's the perfect place to relax, do homework, and make some friends. Don't have classes on Bush? Don't worry, there is a new commuter lounge in the Douglas Student Center as well. The commuter lounges are open every Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. For more information, visit rcsa.rutgers.edu. <laughs>
Welcome back, Rutgers. I am joined by Larry Jacobs, who is the Career Development Specialist for Career Services. Thank you for joining me. Very good. <laughs> what is Career <coughs> Services, and how do you help Rutgers students? Well, we are a, a world-class service where we provide all kinds of counseling, events, and programs, and appointments to meet with us. What we do is a wide range of, uh, of things that we do, such as career advising, what, what you want to major in, LinkedIn profile will help you develop that, prepare your job search, will help you with a winning interview process, will polish up your resume, look over your personal statement for a graduate school and for medical school, and help you with your networking and your presentation style. But we do more than that. What we do is we help find your passion. Your passion, what is it you really want to do? What do you want to be? And we'll work on your confidence level so that you can be the best you can be to prepare yourself for your job. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what are the office hours for the <coughs> career services? Do you guys have walk-ins or do you take appointments? Yes, we do. Um, we have spread all over to four campuses. Um, we have drop-in resume critique hours located on the College Avenue campus, which I believe is Wednesday, Thursday, 12 to 3 p.m. on College Avenue campus, um, let's see, the Butch Campus Center from 12 to 3 also, and Core Library on Livingston Campus on Thursday, 2 to 4, and Martin Hall on the Cook Campus on Tuesday, 2 to 4. We really spread out. That's awesome that, yeah. you know, Rutgers has those on each campus so students can go anywhere That's for right. the career services. Career Services also has a job portal online. That's How can dope. students use that in their research? Right. Okay. All right. As a matter of fact, what you really should get is one of these little brochures, a semester guide that will let everything that we do and how you could use that. And yes, um, we do have a career night online program which you can use to register for appointments with a career advisor. You can register for workshop and program and event. And let's see what else. Um, you could apply online for a campus interview to a company to come on campus. That's awesome. Yeah. Do students still have access to the resources after they graduate? Absolutely. Um, once you graduate, you become an alumni. And yet, you can use our Career Night online program. And again, come to our career fair and schedule appointments to meet with us. We'll be there for you. <laughs> That's great. Do you host events? And if so, how can students join? Oh, man, boy, we had so many events and so many programs. No way that I can lift them all here. Again, you can see it on this um, sheet. And uh, it's a matter of fact. Very quickly, we have um, many major events such as Career Meetup, which is kind of like an informal casual get-together about a particular topic, such as graduate school planning. We have field trips where you can come take a bus load and take a bus with us and travel to companies and take a tour and learn about what they do and see if that's the kind of work you want to do. We have a mentoring program such as the Career Exploration Night, and that's a major event where we invite alumni and workers, um, employers to come in and talk with the students on round table about the field, about the industry, and also road to Wall Street, road to communication and media. There's so many mentoring programs that we come up with. And on campus interviews, just so many events. And as you can see here again, you can see that the calendar of events simply go online to careers.rockers.edu, you can see what we offer. We are again here for you. We want to be able to help prepare you to be the best you can be and to feel gratified about the path that you want to take. That's awesome that Rutgers has so many resources and every student should take advantage of yeah. all of these events. Is there any website students can go to for more information? Yes, yeah. as I mentioned, careers.rockers.edu. We're also on Facebook and Twitter and hashtag um, all you careers to go on to our website. You will find that and anything and everything you need to know about careers, you will find it there. Or schedule an appointment or drop in and meet with us. We'll walk you through from top to top. We'll develop an action plan so you can see what you want to do and how you want to pursue your career path. 
<laughs> Thank you, Larry, for joining me today and Thank for you. explaining to the students what Career Services has to offer. Stay tuned, Rutgers. We have a lot of show left to get to right after this. <laughs> Did you lose your ID? Not sure of what to do? First, send an email to lostcard at aps.rutgers.edu to suspend your card so no one else can use it. Next, visit one of the RU Connection offices to have your lost or stolen ID card replaced. There is an office located on every campus. Records Hall on College Avenue is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Bush, Cook Douglas, and Livingston Campus Housing Offices are open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5 p.m. The Public Safety Card Office is open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. You will need to pay for your new ID with $20 in RU Express. If you don't have RU Express, you can go to the cashier's office next to Records Hall before getting a new ID. Make sure to provide a form of unexpired government-issued photo identification when asking for a new ID. It's that easy to replace your ID. Make sure to keep it in a safe place so you don't lose it again. For more information and a more detailed explanation, visit pst.rutgers.edu slash rules.php. This is Kate. Kate never utilized the many great resources Rutgers has to offer. Now, Kate doesn't have a job. Don't want to end up like Kate? Then you should go to University Career Services. University Career Services provides career-related counseling, resources, and programs to help individuals clarify academic and career goals, establish career plans, develop job search skills, and make successful career transitions. The mission is to build relationships with alumni, employers, and graduate schools to optimize internship, job, and career opportunities. From workshops and webinars to fairs and other recruiter visits, the staff within University Career Services works tirelessly to prepare students and connect them to the world of work. For more information, visit careers.rutgers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. That was a great interview, Adia. Um, Larry gave us a lot of information, useful information about career services and events that we can go to if we want to um, find internships. Yeah, exactly. No, mm -hmm. we got tons of information about career services, so I'm really excited to like go to all those events and you know check out Career Night and all the, those resources and really take advantage of what Rutgers has to offer. And speaking of more information, let's check out the weather with Ashley. All right, guys, so the weather is so crazy over the next couple of days, my computer couldn't even handle it. So I'll tell you guys about the severe uh, alerts that are happening for us over the next couple of days. So we're currently under a high wind watch, which means that there's going to be, it's going to be really, really windy over the next couple of days with winds up to 65 miles per hour. Just think about that. Like, that's as fast as you travel, like, on the highway. Well, how fast you're supposed to travel on the highway. And then we've got a flood watch and a coastal flood watch. So you have to be careful on the banks of the old Raritan because they might be flooded over the next couple of days. All right, so for the regional high temperatures, we've got a high temperature of 49 degrees up in Oneida, 50 out in State College, 52 all the way down in Baltimore, and then our friends down at the Camden campus will be experiencing a temperature of 50 and then 59 up in Newark. For the lows, we've got a temperature of 30 degrees out in um, Oneida, 22 in State College, 40 down in Baltimore, 43 in Camden, and 36 in Newark. Okay, and here's our radar. As you can see, there's a real low pressure system um, occurring over the next couple days, and then there's this precipitation, band of precipitation, that can be bringing us snow over the next couple days, and then um, 
we have clear skies going into Monday, and then um, over the next couple days, clear skies, and then on, I believe it is Wednesday, we've got a, another band of precipitation moving in with the potential for snow over the next couple days. All right. So today we've got a high temperature of 59 degrees, rain this afternoon, and then northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Going throughout our day, we've got a temperature of 51 degrees at 10, with a temperature of 57 at 2 p.m., clouds moving in at 2 p.m., and then 6 p.m. we've got rainy skies with a temperature of 51 degrees, and then by 10 p.m. the rain is still sticking around with a temperature of 46 degrees. And then tonight we've got an overnight low of 41 degrees, rainy skies, and then winds out of the east at 6 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, those high winds are back in store for us. We've got a high temperature of 43 degrees, rains and heavy wind. The rain will be so severe, we could have up to an inch of rain, which is pretty, pretty crazy, all that rain. And then a northwest, sustained northwest wind at 18 to 25 miles per hour. But as I mentioned earlier, wind gusts could get up into the 60s. So really, I know it's going to be rainy, but definitely, definitely, definitely don't use an umbrella because you might get swept away. All right, for our extended forecast, Friday, as I said, those windy skies with rain with a high temperature of 43 degrees. Saturday, the rain moves out with a high temperature of 48 degrees and cloudy skies. Sunday, our friend the sun is finally back with a temperature of 45 degrees, which is pretty mild, pretty seasonable for this time of year. Monday, we've got a temperature of 48 degrees with a low of 32. And then Tuesday, we've got a high temperature of 47 degrees, partially cloudy to mostly sunny skies with a low temperature of 44. All right, as always, you can check us out every 15 minutes on Channel 23.1. Look at all the weather watchers at RU uh, Weather Watcher on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at RUTV using the hashtag RUWeather. And if you just can't get enough of us, check us out at weatherwatcher.ruckers.edu. I'm Ashley Cornish. Have a beautiful week, Ruckers, and see you next Thursday. Thank you, Ashley, for the forecast. Even though it wasn't, you know, lovely weather like we always hope for, it's still great to, you know, be aware of, you know, what the weather's going to be like. Yeah. So what do you plan on doing with all this rainy weather and stuff this weekend? I initially had plans to hang out with my friends, but it's looking like I will spend my weekend at home <laughs> reading a book, playing some Jenga maybe, watching Netflix. You know what you can also do? Um, the Arresti Research Symposium, those applications are due this this month mm -hmm. if you want to join the program next year. So maybe you can like look into academic research, maybe apply for that for next year. That's actually a good point. Thank you, Adia. <laughs> You're always looking out for me. <laughs> yeah, do you have any plans? Well, I was going to go hang out with my friends as well. So I don't know if I'm still going to be doing that with this rain, especially with the winds. I'm mm -hmm. kind of scared, like 65 miles per hour winds. like. I can't even imagine. I feel like I'm gonna like go outside and like a tree's just gonna like sway in front of me and I'm gonna get really spooked and like stay inside. <laughs> but it's okay. It might be an experience to try out. Like if you want to be like Ashley and be a weather watcher or a storm chaser, <laughs> just see if that's the right path for you. Nah, I think I'm actually gonna go <laughs> to career night like over the weekend and maybe like check out things in like the finance industry and like the business stuff because that's what mm -hmm. you know I'm more geared to yeah career night I that's definitely something I do regularly I was actually on there last night looking for summer internships things to do be productive right because mm -hmm. that's how you find your first internship right? yeah so hopefully I find a second one <laughs> <laughs> for the summer right? yeah yeah this summer I was trying to study abroad so I'm still waiting for that application to you know see if I got in or not um, but other than that, I'm probably going to like travel over the summer. If you're going to study abroad, do you know where you would like to go? Italy. Italy. Ooh, <laughs> that's good. Well, Rutgers, that'll do it for today's show. For more events happening this week, you can go to getinvolved.rutgers.edu or ruevents.rutgers.edu. Follow us on Facebook by searching RU Network or follow us on Twitter by searching at Wake Up Rutgers. We love hearing from you. Tune in to Monday's show with Manuel Silva Paulus and Kim Peterman for more Rutgers news. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Adi Dauti. And I'm Eva Nikekalar. Have a great day and we will see you next week, Rutgers. <laughs>